What's up everyone, it's RockFox here. Um, I just got a quick tutorial on how to record and how to stream uh, using OBS and any DJ gear. And I, I do mean any DJ gear, this is everything from like just software to your like little DJ controllers without a sound card that just control software. Um, then to uh, like your MIDI controllers, like your Numark, Mixed, uh, mixed X and your uh, mixed tracks and all those ones all the way up to your pro your pro gear your cdjs your xdjs um all the standalone ones so yeah if you've ever been wondering how i do my videos on my channel uh how you can record easily using any dj gear this is a tutorial for you so the things i like about my system uh is that it's hardware only so it works with anything uh, you don't need to use uh, Mac or PC, it just works with whatever you use. Uh, it doesn't use multi-output devices on Mac, so that means you, can, you, you don't have to use Soundflower, you don't have to use any of that rubbish. Um, so it'll work with any software. And also, because it's a hardware option, uh, controllers that have hardware mics that don't actually run through the software like your Mixtrack Pros, uh, you can actually talk into the mic and actually be able to be heard on the recording, which so obviously that's a plus if you want to talk onto the recording. Uh, yeah. So the secret weapon, the secret hardware weapon, the, the thing that gets you everywhere, is one of these. It's like a two-dollar six-way auxiliary splitter, and what this allows you to do, it allows you to route your output into here, and then you can send your output to your uh, to your computer so you can record and you can also send it to your speakers so you can actually listen to it because otherwise you'll just be sending it to your computer and you can't hear it and what's, what's the point like then you can't hear yourself DJing or you're just sending it to your speakers and you're not recording and like you're not recording so yeah that's the ch now the next cheeky secret um, is a USB to uh, USB sound card they're like again like a couple of dollars uh, so what this does, it means if your computer only has one sound card, you can use this to output your, uh, output your mix and then record back in because, as you can see, it's a little headphone and microphone. So once you output it, you can then record with it and then that'll save the master output on your computer for, uh, your, Q, uh, for, uh, for your queue if you don't have an external sound card for your controller. Um, and I also use it because it's better audio quality than uh, your computer's stock audio, even though uh, my, my controller already has a, a Q and a, a main output. Uh, I just like to use it to record because um, if you look at like the first video I uploaded to this channel, it's recording straight through the microphone on the PC and it's a load of shite. Um, so, yeah, definitely recommend getting one of these. They're like so cheap because better sound quality and also gives you another uh, another channel. So for those of you, oh, so for those of you with controllers with external sound cards, uh, here's the deal. So you get your output your, from your controller, so like these two RCAs, convert it to a uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary. Uh, so you need a two RCA to uh, just normal headphone plug. Plug that into your uh, splitter. Then from there, you get one cord that goes to your speakers uh, so you can hear what you're listening to. And then one cord, or another auxiliary cord that goes to your USB sound card. And then you plug your USB sound card into the computer and record through that and use that as your microphone. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you use the cue on your controller to uh, listen to your cue. For those that don't have an external sound card um, on your controller, uh, I'll show you how to do that one. So if your uh, controller doesn't have a sound card, what you need to do then is set the USB sound card as the main output in the software, and I'll show you how to do that in a couple of softwares. Um, then. For uh, after that, get a auxiliary cord um, plugged into the headphone slot on the sound card. 
run that to the headphone splitter, then run another auxiliary cord back into the microphone slot on the uh, on the sound card, and then have one uh, one line leading to your speakers at home to listen to your music. And then you can use the built-in output on your computer, whether that's your headphone slot or whether that's um, your, your speakers on your computer to cue. So let's show that in. Okay, so I'm here in Mix at the moment. Mix is great, Re definitely recommend Mix. So to uh, record through, uh, to, to set your output devices so they work properly in Mix, go to Preferences, set your master to your USB audio device. So mine's just called three USB audio device, which is kind of weird and set your speakers to Realtek High Definition Audio or whatever your master output is called on your, um, uh, on your, on your computer. It might be different for Mac people, um, but yeah, whatever your master output is. So now it'll be outputting through the USB audio device for the master, and then you can hear your cue through, uh, the, through, through the, uh, your computer speakers or through your computer headphones, um, depending on how you have your computer set up. And then go apply and everything works great you can now um, play music uh, and it'll be recorded through your microphone so you've now got an input you, you've got your DJ input through your microphone what next now next is a cool app we call open broadcasting software okay so this is OBS this is your tool for recording um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on OBS there's lots of other people who've um, described it uh, a lot better than I can, that have got really in-depth tutorials, but I'll just show you um, a couple of the, th of the things uh, specific to your DJing. So if you go to s into settings on OBS, you'll need to go to your audio, and you'll need to uh, connect your USB audio device as your input. Um, so that'll set it up so now your sound, your DJ sound is coming through that one, and then um, if you want to have a separate microphone, you can also use uh, your computer's microphone. Uh, I just have it because I'm recording the video, but I don't use it normally. Um, yeah, so there now you should have sound coming through uh, mic aux or mic aux 2. So uh, just quickly to add things in OBS, you can add uh, you can add things like text. You can add uh, a display, so that'll capture your whole monitor. So you can capture your uh, DJ software. If you go do a software thing, um, you can add images. So uh, yeah, images are good. They convey information. Uh, what else? Oh, text is good. Tell people when you're streaming. Tell people what you're streaming. Tell people how they can chat to you. And video capture device. So you can add uh, webcams. You can add, uh, yeah, webcams. Webcams are cool. They, people see what you can do. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll just walk you through my the the what the the scene because they're called scenes in here, which uh, I use pretty much all the time. It's called YouTube Ponyville FM standalone. So, um, and in the sources, it's organized by uh, so the things at the top are at the top, and they cover the things at the bottom. So my visualizer is obviously at the bottom because everything covers the visualizer. And so yeah, from there I've got logo for my station, I've got when you can tune in, where you can tune in, first webcam, second webcam, and yeah, so that means you audience can see my face, audience can see what I'm doing, like, you know, how sick I'm doing these ones, and yeah, so that's um, pretty much it. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more complicated for streaming, uh, I'd recommend having a uh, stream overlay, which is a transparent uh, background that syncs up with what's happening so you can add things like uh, who's your latest follower, you can add your chat up here, you can add who's watching um, and you can get notifications for when you've been hosted or if you're hosting someone or if you hit a donation or whatever stuff like that um, and yeah so just play around with your scenes like I've got things so you can request things on Spotify um, I've got things if I'm just playing with hardware um, and I've got things if I'm just playing with software. So yeah, that's basically it. I'll link some more informative videos in the description as well as some eBay links to the uh, hardware I've used. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it consider giving it a like. 
actually no, don't don't give this video a like. How about subscribe to the channel and watch some episodes of the full spectrum because that's you know, that's what I'm here for. That's why I like YouTube. It's a good medium. I like it. It's good. My my channel's good. Yeah, so maybe give it a like, but more importantly, like give it a sub and then, you know, watch some videos. So yeah, peace everyone. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, ping me, comments, comments are good. Yeah, no worries. All the mail. All the mail. Oh, one thing that I forgot to add, um, the visualizer in the background, which you can't see at the moment because it's not connected to uh, the uh, output, but when it is connected, it'll like flashy, it does flashies and it changes and yada yada. So on Windows 10, it's an app, it's called Kayuna. Um, it's a great app, I definitely recommend, it's free. Um, and it just picks up what's coming through your mic and then it flashes and does the flashy things. Uh, if you don't have a Windows 10 computer, uh, your options, your options. I think there's a, uh, a visualizer called Project Milk Siphon, which is actually a, a VDJ, no, not VDJ, a VJ app Lite, um, which is open source and pretty good. Um, if you're running Windows 8 or 7, I actually I have no idea. Um, I just search around for free visualizers that react to your microphone. Um, and I'd go from there. But yeah, so visualizers are great. It's a bit of visual flair. Pretty sweet.